All right, I'm uh, Cliff Ronning from Bay's Hawk. Uh, we're re really excited. We just started teaching uh, the fundamentals of shooting using the proper techniques, and uh, we're really seeing great results. We actually match up the stick what works best for that person or that type of player, flex, lie, and from there we just start teaching proper technique. Every time they come we film them and you'll see a big difference from the day they came in to the day they leave. Instantly they get their confidence up and they start enjoying the game. I think a lot of it technique wise, much like golf, it's something you can always tweak, you can always change a little bit, but the best feedback is visual feedback. What you really notice, especially in videos, if someone's dropping their hip, the blade opens up. A good wrist shot, you end up coming up and over and getting up on your front leg. So once I got the video, I put up Ally Afraidy or myself next to your child, then instantly there's no questioning coming back, it's just obvious. This is how you have to shoot to be at that level. With Karen, I mean, it was a little bit different. She had an operation on her arm, and right away I had to pick a curve that would hold the puck in the, in the pocket a little bit more because she was losing it. The, the first week, you, could, you definitely see she was very upright, not transferring any part of her lower body. She was just all upper arms. And from there, we tried to get the lower body involved so she's able to transfer weight, use her upper body, and then have a great shot. When you see the video, it's quite amazing the transformation that we got her to be able to commit to her front foot forward and commit and to get up over the shot. I'm Jeff Friesen. I uh, played 16 years NHL and to, to give back and to work with the next generation of players using the tools we have here with our cameras, our pro knowledge and uh, try to make you a better player. Well, Rihanna uh, was tremendous. You know, you see a, a six-year-old just starting hockey, you know, not even really in a proper hockey stand. And you see in week three, he's got perfect balance. He's in a, he's starting in a good hockey position. And when he's taking his shot, it's like a miniature owl. It's, it's a, a six-year-old who is finishing in a strong hockey position. Vincent had, had a, a big improvement with his body mechanics, especially the balance that he had when he was shooting. He was leaning back a lot more. He wasn't uh, in a strong hockey position. By week three, He's staying low, his front foot's forward, his head's like a rock, and that is so important with hockey. It's not only for, for scoring goals, playing the game and having fun, but also the, the safety part of it, you know. Your head's up, you're more aware, less likely to be in a situation where, you know, you could get injured. So here you can see Kian, how he's leaning back on his shot. What that causes is the blade to open up. When it opens up, you end up shooting, as we say in hockey, muffins and we want to be shooting bullets. In week three, the positioning of how the chin is looking at the target, transferring the weight from the back foot to the front foot, definitely he's leaning more forward, which will give him much more power. Here you see Braden in week one. He's actually in a decent position off the start, but one thing we noticed, we really want to get the kids to get up on their front foot. When they're finished, their ear should be over their front foot. And you look at week three, as he comes through and takes the shot, he's up over the front foot. His ear is in proper position. Two hours of work that we've worked with him with the cameras, that he's understanding the concept of shooting in full stride. Shooting in stride is one of the hardest things to do, but yet, if you get taught properly, you're able to shoot at full speed. So if you're coming down on someone skating 15 miles an hour and you shoot another 50 miles an hour, you got a 65 mile hour wrist shot coming at the net. It's like a real extra turbo boost if you're able to shoot in stride. I do a lot of coaching. I've coached a lot of kids and uh, it's hard when you're a coach and you have 18 kids on the ice and 18 parents wanting you to spend time with the individual child. And shooting is something that you can teach proper technique, but it really takes, you know, maybe you can work with two kids at a time because you have to be there and pay attention to what they're doing at that moment. Load it up, push down the toe. You hear you're going here, you're going like this. I want, push down on the, watch this. I won't even move. And when you have 18 kids shooting around the boards, 
you can't see what they're doing. This way, you're right there, right in front of them, using cameras, using the latest technology to teach these kids. And we have girls, we have adults. The biggest thing is we teach them proper techniques. So when they go in the game, instantly you see that base shooters definitely are shooting with proper technique. You know, the way I see it, if you practice doing the proper technique, you get better. But if you keep practicing bad technique, you stay the same. So personally, I'd rather improve instantly and that's do proper technique.